The film kicks off with a young boy named Ji Hyuk. He was an expert in breaking lockers and big safe. He used to steal valuable things and sell them. He used to do his job very cleverly. That's why he wasn't caught even after 100 thefts, nor anyone knew anything about him. One day, he went to steal a valuable stone in the building, which was very expensive. The safe that has a stone in it was locked firmly. It was very difficult to break it or open it. But Ji Hyuk opened it very cleverly and after taking the stone, he left. But as soon as he goes out, the stone falls down and breaks. Ji Hyuk's hard work was wasted, but he didn't give up. He designed the same stone and prepared it. Then he went to sell it at a shop. But the shopkeeper there found out that it was fake and he refused to buy it. But Ji Hyuk also knew that this shopkeeper sells fake things. He threatens him and says that if you don't buy this stone from me, I will tell the police. I know that you sell fake things. Now, the shopkeeper agrees and buys the stone from him. Ji Hyuk was also his friend here. He had this quality that he used to fit the bomb in the smallest thing. Then, he decided to print fake notes after this theft. He made fake notes just like real notes. But as soon as he poured alcohol on them, the words were erased. He didn't get any benefit from this work. One day Ji Hyuk decided that he would steal diamonds. Now, the shop in which they have to steal, there were cameras everywhere. And it wasn't that easy to do this work. Now he includes another friend in his plan, who was a very big hacker. He once complained to the police about him, but still he was ready to trust him. In this work, he also meets a girl who was an expert in such things like him. This girl had a very good friendship with Ji Hyuk. When they both go for a walk, Ji Hyuk sees a locket around his neck. She tells him that my dad gave it to me as a gift. Ji Hyuk tells him that it is very expensive and very precious too. Now, they go to the jewelry store to find out about it. So there the lady tells them that it is very expensive and worth millions. Then he puts a bag under the table. This was the same shop where they wanted to steal. Ji Hyuk sees everything. He calculates everything. How many rooms are there? How many cameras are there? Later, he tells the girl that within 10 minutes we will have to complete this robbery. Now, on the day of the robbery, the bag he kept under the table. Smoke starts coming out of it and all the guards run toward it. There Ji Hyuk's hacker friend, hacks all the cameras. And he had also turned off all the alarms in the safe. But the guards come before their estimated time. But Ji Hyuk's second friend breaks the glass of the car to distract the guards. Now they had stolen, after which Ji Hyuk and his friends were very happy. Everyone celebrates. When the owner of the diamonds finds out that his diamonds have been stolen. He gets very angry, but he also liked the work of these thieves. Because he was surprised, they had not left any evidence against them. The owner of the diamonds, whose name was Joe. He was a very big businessman, and also a very big gangster. That is, he was a bad person who had killed many people. He was also preparing for a big robbery. That's why he was looking for such smart thieves. He found very big thieves, and even tested the robbers who opened the safe. But no one was according to his work. Now Joe decides that he will look for these thieves, who had stolen his diamonds. That is, Ji Hyuk and his friends. Now his men start looking for them. They keep an eye on every diamond shop. Finally, Joe's men found out about Ji Hyuk. Now, Joe goes to him and says, Joe says that you will have to steal for me. In return, I will give you a 5% commission. Now, they could not refuse. Because he threatens them, that if they refuse, he will kill their family. Because he was a very dangerous gangster. Joe says that a ship full of 150 crores is coming. But where this ship will stop? There is the best security system in the world. Now Joe also gives them tickets to go there. Now Ji Hyuk also gets caught in the plan of theft. This was his biggest theft. On the other hand, Joe calls Ji Hyuk's hacker friend. And buys him by paying a lot of money. He says that you will have to keep an eye on Ji Hyuk. Because Joe was afraid that he might betray him. On the other hand, the police were still trying to catch the thieves of diamonds. But soon the police find out that Ji Hyuk had kept the bag in the shop that day. They found out about his house and reached there. Where they find out where the next theft of Ji Hyuk is. And they also found out that Joe is involved with a very big gangster. There Ji Hyuk and his friends reach the fort. Where the ship was about to come. There they go and hack all the security systems. Now Ji Hyuk says to his friend, why don't we keep the money that we will steal? The hacker friend also listens to these words. To whom Joe had given the money. And tells him everything. He gets very angry after hearing these words. But now he needed Ji Hyuk. That's why he couldn't say anything to him yet. Now Ji Hyuk goes to meet the girl who was his friend. But she was very angry with him. Because she hadn't met her for a long time. That's why she wasn't ready to listen to anything. 
Now Ji Hyuk tells her that her dad was his master, who taught him to steal. Your dad wanted to live a simple life, but his business partner killed him. He was no one else but Joe, but his friend doesn't believe him. She leaves there. Now when she was going from there, then Joe's men come and kidnap her, so that Ji Hyuk couldn't do any anything to them. Now the day of theft had also come. Everyone succeeds in coming to the port. On the other side, Joe blows up there. Ji Hyuk's hacker friend hacks all the cameras. The people there say that there is something wrong with their system. It will take them 40 minutes to fix it. Ji Hyuk and his friend had a lot of time now. They opened the safe very cleverly. There was a lot of money in front of them. Now they put all the money in their truck. And put fake money on the money. There the police also finds out. They surround this place from all sides. Because of which Ji Hyuk can't get out of that place. Now the gangster who comes to Ji Hyuk who shoots him, and shows his friend's locket and says, that she is in my custody, I knew that you would cheat me, that's why if you want to save your friend, then you have to surrender yourself to the police, Ji Hyuk also wanted to save his friend, who was his master's daughter, for her, he surrenders himself to the police, but as soon as the police start catching him, he jumps into the sea, the police shoot him, one of which even hits him, and the bag he was carrying also detonates with the bomb, everyone was thinking that he was dead, when his friend finds out that he was good at fitting the bomb, he is very sad, but hacker friend was happy, because he was going to get the money of Ji Hyuk's share. Both friends argue about this. Hacker friend takes out the knife, and kills his own friend. Now finally the truck full of money had reached Ji Hyuk, but it turns out that it was only filled with tickets. Seeing this, Ji Hyuk's condition had deteriorated. Then he gets a call from Ji Hyuk, means he was still alive. Here we find out whatever was happening. It was Ji Hyuk's plan. He wanted to avenge his master's death. First of all, while making the stone that he had stolen from there. And put a microphone in it. He knew that Joe Gangster used to buy such things. Then he found out that he was looking for a smart thief. He deliberately stole the diamonds. So that he could come into his eyes. Joe thought it was his plan. But the real plan was Ji Hyuk's. Hacker friend was also with Ji Hyuk. There that friend was also alive. Who was killed by hacker friend. Actually the whole plan was to get Joe caught. Now the police also comes to Joe. Their hacker friend had also saved the girl. Who was the master's daughter of Ji Hyuk. Who was kidnapped by Joe. On the other hand, Joe's men and police starts fighting. But Joe takes advantage of this and runs away from there. But when he was going in his car. Then Ji Hyuk hits his car. And gets him caught by the police. After that, all the friends gathered at one place. And brought that truck too. Which had fake money. Actually, they had kept fake money on the real money. Everyone was very happy, because they had money to live a good life. Now it is obvious that Ji Hyuk had committed such a big theft. That's why he disappears for a few days. One day he sends money to that girl too, who was his friend, her master's daughter. Now she was in Dubai. She starts her art gallery with that money, which was her dream. She wanted to do this from the beginning. She sees her locket in the museum, behind which Ji Hyuk was standing. Now, he started liking his master's daughter. Now, he starts living happily with his friend. The film ends up with this.